Do you ever find yourself at Ulta, Target, Sephora, and you're like, how did I even get here? How, how did I end up here? This is not what I was supposed to be doing today. If that's you, you're not. Hey guys, it's Amber. So today I have a little mini Ulta haul, and of course I've got some subalanin to do. So first of all, you know those days where you're like, I really didn't mean to buy this, but it just kind of happened. <laughs> so I was battling an eye infection this past month, so I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. One of those things being mascara because I stopped wearing makeup but I was worried that some things would be contaminated because I would have worn makeup the day it was starting to feel like it was coming on. So I wanted to go out and get two new tubes so I could make sure I was covered. So my favorite mascara has been Essence Lash Princess and I have been using that for quite a while and I haven't really needed to try anything else out because it works good it makes my lashes look great it's cruelty free so it checks all the boxes and I was gonna go to Ulta and just buy two tubes and that was it but you know how that works I bought a few more things not a lot it's just a little mini haul a little, little mini haul but it happened but I only spent like $20 so it's like you know $20 anyway so First of all, I did get a tube of the Essence Lash Princess, but while I was there, they had so many other mascaras that no one really ever talks about. And this one was new, and it says the False Lashes Mascara Dramatic Volume Unlimited. So I'm actually going to have a separate video where I compare these together because I'm just like, they both say false lashes. What's the difference? No one really knows. Why is there two separate ones if they do the same thing? So that will be coming soon, but I was kind of intrigued by this. They're the same price. I didn't really know, let's see, do they have the same amount of mascara in them? Oh, this one actually has more. This has 0.4 fluid ounces and this has 0.33. So you get more in this tube, so this better do something amazing or I'm not buying it, right? <laughs> so I did get my two tubes of mascara, but I got a couple of little goodies as well. So first off, a little while ago, I tried out some of the Essence Gel Polishes. I think I only ended up buying one color and a top coat and a base coat. And when I saw these sitting there, and they were so beautiful, and they are $1.99, I was like, why not? So I decided to get two colors. The first one was called Island Hopping. And this one I actually came right home and I painted my toenails because I was just like, yes, that is so beautiful. I think it needs to be on my toenails. And then I got this other color, which is like a deeper berry. This says, feels like birthday. I'll just give you a little swatch here since my nails aren't painted right now. The thing I like about these Essence polishes is that they have like a wide brush and the tip is rounded. So they're actually really, really nice. And I feel like, especially if I'm in a hurry, I feel like I can give it a pretty generous one coat and be like passable. You know, some polishes it's like, you have to do three little coats or you're not even gonna get any color. So here's the shades. Here's the It Feels Like Your Birthday one. Okay, I'm showing my age now, but I suddenly wanted to sing that song. It's your birthday. We're gonna party like it's your birthday. Oh my gosh. That that throws back to beauty school. Okay, that's how old that song is. Whoa. And then here's the turquoise one, which is called Island Hopping. So there's those two. Even though I can get OPI and Etsy nail polish for way cheaper because I'm licensed, these are $1.99, guys, they work really good. And I know sometimes they're like, well, they're not professional, but I'm like, I'm not doing anybody's nails, so nobody's gonna care, it's just for me. And I don't mind that they're such little bottles because, well, let me just show you something. This is all my nail polish, okay? There's gonna be a decluttering happening soon. I bought these little pinwheels to do this like a year ago and it is yet to be done. And I wanna go through all of this and just see what's still good and what's not good. And honestly, I have so many colors that I don't mind that these are little because they have the big brushes. Like the, the Essie ones, the brushes, the small set are so small that I hate because I'm like doing like 20 strokes. So these, like, I don't mind that they don't give me that much because like I got a lot of polish and I'm not using this all up before it goes bad. So that's that. And while I was there, I already have like the top coat and the base coat, but they had these Express Dry Drops and their nail art drops, but I'm like, you know what? That would be so cool. Cause you know when you're trying to like do nail art, like I have those little stamp, like stampers. No, they're the little like stippler things that are that are like the little uh, dotting tools. Oh my goodness, brain. Thank you for arriving finally. 
Um, I have a little dyeing tools and I like to do like the polka dots and stuff, but you know, you're waiting forever. And I have a light to do like the gel gel, but it's just hard to get that all out because with my baby, I'm like the cords and da 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 and just, it takes longer. So if I can get this to dry faster, I'm a fan of that. So I'm like, hmm, maybe this will work. So I'm excited about this and you're just supposed to apply one to two drops to your nail. Should we test it? I used this once on my toenails and it seemed to work. Let's try it on this. All right, it is kind of oily, which is good to like moisturize your nails. So it says it's supposed to dry it in a couple seconds. Dries nail polish within seconds. Should I touch this? Should I? Are you cringing? You're like, no, don't touch it, don't touch it, don't touch it. Oh my gosh. I mean, I kind of just let it sit on my toenails because I was a little afraid. I didn't really touch it, but this. Yeah, that worked. Okay, so exciting, a little bit there. The other thing I got in all my essence hauls, I've actually done two other ones and um, two or three essence hauls. Anyway, I never saw the pure nude highlighter or it was sold out online. Guys, I just, this is such a holy grail for so many people. I just had to have it. I'm still working on the highlighter video. It's going to take me a little while because I got a lot of highlighters. I haven't even touched this yet. I... I need to go to rehab, okay? For highlighting. <laughs> hmm. Everyone says this is so gorgeous. Even the girl when I was buying it, she's like, have you tried this highlighter? I'm like, no, she's like, it's amazing. It's my favorite and I'm all, thank you for that. I tried to ask her about this mascara, but she had uh, extensions on. So she's like, I don't know, but, but the highlighter, she said that was good. So that's all I got. I got all this stuff for 20 bucks. A highlighter, two mascaras, two polishes, a drip dry polish. I mean, how can you even beat that? I did use the 350 off coupon because I had my little, you know, email thing. But seriously, guys, 20 bucks, like instant mood booster. I'm not ashamed to say that I do engage in retail therapy, even though sometimes I know that I don't need to buy it. I do. But I try to find less expensive things. So I'm like, mm, I'm, I'm retail therapying myself $20 instead of like $1,000. Like, you know, my whole Sephora VIB anti-health thing. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.